freezing. I'm not swimming in that. There's big buses, little buses. I think it's a space vehicle. You won't believe what's inside this fire truck. And now we're gonna go see the witch as well. It's so creepy. Wow, look at that. So that was really cool to explore. It's our first day in Estonia and we quickly discover that the country has some amazing free campsites. Wait till you see where we are. We spend the day driving through the country, seeing some off the beaten track, unusual sights. Morning. Morning, we're in Estonia. So stoked. <laughs> I can't believe we're here, it's yeah. amazing. I think we worked mm. out last night, this is our 27th country, wow. which is crazy. Anyway, we are so excited to be here and we're in this awesome camping spot. We got to Estonia last night. I think we drove about 10 minutes into Estonia. Mm, not far at all. And we were so tired, so we just looked up somewhere and parked for night and we found this place. So it's like this free camping spot. It's about a kilometer long, so it's huge. And there's places you can pull off to the side. There's fire pits, seating areas, and just behind those trees there is the beach. It's so cool. Like every little mm. camping area has its own fire pit. Yeah. So we stayed here last night. It was a very peaceful night, but I think we're gonna go for a swim now. Yeah, lovely. It's not very hot. I think <laughs> yeah. We're gonna freeze. We we're like, we've got to swim in every sea we go to. So here's our Baltic Sea swim. <laughs> Let's go for a swim! Oh no, Myron, this is freezing! Oh no! It's freezing! I'm not swimming in that! It is so beautiful here. The beach goes on for so long. Hey guys, so now that we've driven about halfway through the country, we're kind of like in the middle of Estonia now, left the beach, and we've come to a place called Vana Technica Vajoplik. It's probably pronounced terribly. Probably, <laughs> Yeah, but it's a Soviet car museum, just an open air. It's pretty much just like a junkyard of all these old vehicles. Yeah. It's so cool. It's an old police car. Getting rid of all my one and two cents. <laughs> Look at that monster truck. All aboard. It's like a junkyard, there's no like this way first. Like. <laughs> Are you not handling the freedom? Way. Yeah. So this first part here looks like it's all buses. Yes, big buses. Little buses. Little buses. This is my favorite one. So cute. This one here's a Chevrolet and it looks kind of like a ambulance or something. A big camper van. Yeah, yeah. You know, 
know you live in a van when you see other vans and buses and you're like, oh, that'd make a good home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a bigger home than mine. Oh, that's a smaller home than mine. Yeah. It's like everyone else comes and goes, that's a vehicle. I'm like, oh, that would make a nice house. Yeah, like this one here would be perfect. It's nice and big. It'd be lovely to live in. <laughs> Such a cool fireplace. This tourist attraction is off the beaten path a little bit, but it is really cool. But there's some information here, but none of it's in English. I think it's all in Estonian and maybe Russian. No, I think it's just all Estonian. All Estonian? Yeah, because Russian's not, these kind of letters. There's ah. no Russian. Entrance into here was two euros, but for three euros you can get a guided tour, and I think that's only between 11 and 1. It's all not in English, so it's kind of hard to figure out, but yeah. So today we're going to do a van tour. Welcome to our new home. <laughs> <laughs> Down the back, we've got our bedroom, and then a bathroom, and some spare bedrooms, and then the lounge. Seriously, this is huge. It is. We've been thinking maybe we'll do a bus next. So These two buses behind me are definitely my favourite. The colour scheme's really nice and they look quite cool. Now I think we're getting into like the army kind of section. How scary would this be catching up to you on the road? <laughs> so I've been trying to work out what this yellow one is. So covered over from the top it looks like waterproof, like a boat kind of thing. In front of it just looks like a bow of a boat. And when you come around to the back of it, that's a propeller. So it is a car transporter that can drive in water and on land. I don't think so. I think it's a space vehicle and <laughs> went to Mars. It does look like a space vehicle. But this section has all the fire engines. You can tell why they have blue lights on the top. And that they're and red. That they're red. <laughs> Look at the water jet on the top of that one. Looks like a missile launcher. So I said to Hannah, you won't believe what's inside this fire truck. And somehow she got it straight away. But have a guess at what's inside this fire truck. What do you think? Pause the video, leave a comment. Mm. And then come back, press play, and let's see if you're right. I don't know how I guessed it, but I did. Inside this one. There's a little fireplace with the water heater and there's a sparkle. <laughs> so crazy. Inside this fire engine is a sauna. And there's a farm equipment area with harvesters and bulldozers. This one must have gone through some muddy terrain. It's got four wheels on the front and four wheels on the back. So that was awesome looking around all the vehicles. You can just kind of like walk around wherever you want, get into some of them. Yeah, I would highly recommend it if you're in the area to come check it out. It's a pretty low key place, but there has been quite a few people coming and going, so yeah. We got to our second point in Estonia last night, but we got here a bit late, so we didn't have a look around. We just went to sleep because we were quite tired. But it's quite a beautiful place that we parked up at. And now we're going to go see the Witch's Well. I think we've come at the wrong time of the year because this is what it looks like currently. But in most of the pictures I've seen, it looks like this: with water overflowing in like a big lake. So, maybe we just came at the wrong time of the year or something. Because <laughs> it looks very dry. 
So this pole next to the witch's well is an old oak pole and it's meant to be in the exact location of a positive energy pole. And people are meant to place their hands near the pole and then they get different senses from the pole. Some people can sense it being warm or cold or humming or a gravity feel. Let's go have a look and see what it feels like for me. People have placed money inside the tree as well. Let's touch it. It's meant to be positive energy. For me it feels like it's harder to breathe, kind of like, I guess that stronger gravity that it was saying that some people feel. <sighs> so that was a little bit disappointing. I think it would be much better to come back in certain times of the year when it's properly overflowing from the well. Well, it's a bit creepy. This is so creepy. So we just got to our fourth spot in Estonia. This is R Rumu Quarry, which is right next to Rumu Prison. So they used to use the prisoners to work the quarry. Mm. So, <laughs> yeah. And it's uh, it's an old quarry that is now a lake. Yeah. And it's, apparently it's quite like creepy. The pictures I've looked online look creepy anyway, because it's like a lake, but the old mine buildings are like sticking out. Mm. So it'll be cool to see. Yeah. Pretty creepy the building half submerged in the water. But it's a good time to come just before sunset. The colours are beautiful. So it's 7.30 now. On Google it said it closed at 9, but it closes at 8, so I only got half an hour here. Usually you can rent out stand-up paddle boards, canoes, and stuff like that. I think I even saw like a motorized surfboard thing. There they do. It's like a surfboard with a motor on it, so you can stand up on it and go on flat water. Mmm. Myron's favourite thing in the world, abandoned. <laughs> I do quite like them. And down by the beach here, they have some lounges that you can sit in, a little volleyball court, and of course the beach that you can swim in. It's so much harder to stay afloat in. I'm really having a kick. <laughs> now I'm going to climb up these huge mountains here. That was a big climb up that mountain. I'm hoping that there's an awesome viewpoint up here. Wow, look at that. And you can see those walls there are the old prison walls from the Rumu prison. Apparently in there the owner is going to make a technology park, so that could be cool to come back and see one day. You can see all the erosion in the mountain and how it's all kind of like washed down to the bottom. And that's because this would have been loose soil pulled up from the quarry and just dumped here as a waste product. really cool to explore I it really heard you did it yeah. so even though they said it closed at 8 I think it's actually 9 I think they just say that to get people out quicker <laughs> so if you go just stay till 9 it's mm. fine there there's both... lots of people there still yeah there we are a few people still hanging around but... yeah mm. we rushed a little bit but it was really cool we couldn't yeah. fly the drone no it was a no-fly zone mm. there's a military airport kind of close so... and it used to be a prison so maybe yeah that as well <laughs> yeah. I don't know we couldn't fly it but yeah mm. it was heaps of fun so this kind of concludes our video of like making our way up through Estonia and the sites we've been to. Next video will be in Tallinn actually exploring mm, the main, main city. city. But yeah, we've had lots of fun just 
kind of popping between these little sites. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to our channel, we make videos a few times a week. We live in our camper van and travel full time. Mm, so like, subscribe, check out some more videos. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Our fourth spot in Estonia. And fourth. this is Yeah, fourth spot. Third. It was the beach. Beach. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe.